What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and Tara's with me again for another editorial. Another editorial, which is he's uh, claiming for uh, Munch Pack edition, edition of Munch Pack. Yes, God, I'm sorry. Welcome back to the Munch Pack unboxing. This is from March 2016. I'm currently wearing swag from the Loot Crate unboxing. So if you don't know, you want to see where this came from and this stuff over here, you just you go to that video. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get started. I'm excited. These are always a good time, and I forgot to cut the box. Usually I do that in preparation, but hashtag fail. Cut that box. Driver, cut that box! And your finger off. Oh my god, this is gonna end super bad. <laughs> Ow, fuck my eye! Holy crap. I bitched about this last time, I think. Some sort of tape. Anyway, let's see who made this box today. Or Oh, Sam. Sam! That could be a guy or a girl. We don't know. You should put a smiley face yeah. for a girl. Just like with little hearts. This munch pack was made just for you by Munch with Sam. What did I say? By Munch with Sam. My Munch with... Lunch is on Sam. Thanks, Sam. Sam oh! Alright. So, a That's few familiar Sam. faces just from gauging, you know, a, a quick look-ski. Ski. Oh, look -ski but, there's, a, there's a, always new items, which is always wonderful. Wunderbar. The first thing right on top, and I am much anxious because Dill is Bay, as I've said in the past. <laughs> no! We have ourselves Covered Bridge, Creamy Dill Pickle, Aneth Cream You. Cream <laughs> Creamix. Oh. Creamix. There you go, know, Mr. Place. There we go. Just kidding. Okay, I, was, oh. I was going to make hand profanities. Oh, yeah. Good thing he didn't. This is a family show. No. Well, technically it is. Anyway, alright, let's give these dill pickle chips a try. Always a typical, or a tip-top dill pickle flavor. Tip-top dill pickle flavor. Say that too mm. fast. That's intense. Real intense, bro. It's like, we're camping. It's so intense. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. See, whenever they throw an old-fashioned thing on the front of the bag or whatever, you know it's going to be good. Mmm. What's this thing Dark russet potato chips. Okay. I... As long as you put your logo guy, like whatever he is, he has to be a fruit or vegetable. Put him on your package, give him a face, and put him in an oh, outfit, wow. and that'll sell. That'll sell products. If I saw this, I'd pick that over... Regular the, dill pickle yeah. chips. We're dude just says chip. And it shows actual dill and pickles, but it's got a face, so you know it's good. Dill and pickles. Dill and pickles. Doing a jig together, can you imagine? Anyways. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> a very familiar face. A koalas. Oh, this one's in, uh, I'm thinking something else. This is Koala's March. These are usually Korean, though, but this is all English, so I'm wondering if it's, like, a different... Aren't they Taiwanese, usually? Yeah, this is Thai. What's this from? We didn't look. Isn't this Canadian? Didn't we have those ketchup chips from this brand last time? I don't really remember. Or, like, a time or something? New Brunswick, yeah. Well, it's a Canadian chip, son. Can't go wrong with Canadian chips. Canadians do things right the first time. Yeah, so the, the, I think these are actually, uh, is this the same brand? I think so. I didn't. I don't think that there's another I don't think brand it's of koala stuff, is there? We'll, we'll 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 know as soon as we open it and try it. Cause oh yeah, I think it's the same. These are all chocolatey. All oh, chocolatey chocolate. A little flip skis for you. They actually taste a little different. They do. Like similar. It's a little but, more artificial. Yeah. So I don't think these are the Korean ones. Well, no. These are Thai, but um, well, the ones we tried are always from Korea, I think. Thailand. Yeah. You keep saying Korea. Well, the original ones are Korean, aren't they? No, they're from Thailand. Oh. Weird. Maybe it's just one of those knockout competitors. I think competitors. these ones are made in the U.S. because it has a thing about saving the Australian koalas. Koalas in Australia. It's this product of Thailand. Oh, but distributed by Americans. That's why. It's probably a little no different. No offense! Probably a little different. Probably, they probably do something a little different. different. It's like it, came, it probably started in Thailand and they rebranded it. It's like that for everything. It's like that for Lay's chips. Yeah. Same cheese. Ooh, we like these. 
Oh, I'm excited. A new flavor of toxic waste sour candies. Now, every time we've received these, it's always been in the, the green and the yellow barrel. Yes, and, it's true. No, and no, it's no, never no. been this purple, so this is new. Fun fact, my sister hates sour, so we should just give her one of these. Tell her yeah. it's a great yummy candy. It was funny. The other day, there was like a kid's sour candy, and it was like not even the least bit sour for us. We're just like, what? So she'd probably die if she ate these. She's just like, you see her there. Yeah. Oh, and we're just like, so sour. and we were like, you baby. All right, so oh, there's a couple. Ooh, so I want a white one. I want a white one. Here, I'll give you two, just because there's we have two different flavors here. We have a dark. It's a mystery flavor. Oh wait, so are these though? See, these are different colors too. No, but the white ones are the white mystery ones are flavors. mystery. So I think there's only a couple of these. Oh, I'm so excited. Oops. This is gonna be awful. You never know. And then I want this red one. What, what was the other one I gave you? You, you took it away. Oh, from I'm me. sorry. All right, I'll give you uh, watermelon. Actually, I want this blue one. I'm okay, good. then I'm taking the okay, watermelon. that's fine. There's other flavors as well. Like it looks like this one is a uh, kind of a lemon. Yes, it is. And these this are one, the typical flavors. I yeah, want to try standard. the white ones because they're gonna be yeah and wacky. I wasn't supposed to take this off, but what are you doing, Dad? Oh my goodness. Just, just stop. Just stop before you're ahead. Stop. No, no, I, I know I gotta peel it down so I can put this back on. There, just for storage later. All right, let's try this out. It doesn't say on it? No, it's mystery. That's what makes it so great. I'm gonna cut this. Oh no, I dropped my mystery. What color is yours? Oh, it's red? Mine. Okay, they're both red. Ready? One, two, three. Just wait, it usually hits you. Oh dear. That's quite sour. Oh. 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 oh, the throat, it burns! <laughs> I think these ones are just straight sour. Like, that's the mystery, is they're sour straight through. Oh my god. Oh no. There it is. That was, that was murder. That was some real good sour. Holy, that was intense. That was awesome. Good god. I still don't know what the flavor is, though. I feel like it comes out after it. Yeah, I'm waiting. It just kind of tastes like a bubble gum. Maybe that's the flavor. I don't know, it just kind of tastes like a generic candy to me. There's no, like, real flavor. Yeah. I think it's bubble gum flavor. Yours could be different from mine, though. You never know. So just for argument's sake, let's open a second one. Whoa. Ours are both red, though, so, like, the one time we ate. The one time we ate? Yeah. What color My is that My tongue's one? gonna be so fucked up. I mean... That's green. Mine's blue. So these are different. So maybe they did taste the same. These are the ones... I, I got a blueberry one. I got watermelon. These are always fun. Here comes the sour again. Let the sour hit your tongue. Let the sour hit the tongue. Let the sour hit the tongue. Let the sour hit the... And then when you when it really hits you, <laughs> my jaw. I was trying to speak and it just was like sour patch. <laughs> when it really hits you, at least it's a reflex for me to clamp down on it, which makes it even more sour. So it makes you like go and then it goes. We seriously have to feed one of these to my sister. Oh, she'd die. It'd be so bad. The roof of my mouth is kind of tingling. These are intense. Like my tongue is on fire. Mm. This toxic. They're good though. And then you're given the mellow. Once you're done with the sour, yeah, you're given the you nice really taste. Nice. This tastes really good once we're done with the sour. Oh, yeah. The other one was kind of bland. It didn't taste like much. It tastes like maybe I'm playing. But, but this one's good. I like this. It's actually like watermelon. Mmm. Rabbits. Yeah, that's a good one. I love toxic waste. That's a good one. That is rich. All right. 
Move it on. No more sour faces for today. Another that's one of these. Nice. We've received probably about three of these, I think. This is one of those corn things, but they vary in flavor. These are usually Japanese. Um, ooh, my mouth is still tingly. Some of the girls I work with have, like, healthy versions of Oh, these. dear. March 15, 2016. Yeah, we're fine. It is currently the 29th. We've eaten post-dated stuff too. Let's, let's we'll look and see how crumbly it is. It it's looks fine. fine. Yeah. So this is another one of these. Sealed. I'm just honestly, I never really. They're okay, but they're not something. I always mention this. They're not something I can keep eating. So I'm just gonna take a nibble. See, I think I like these more than he does. It's good flavor. I like that they're light and fluffy. Actually, that's a really good flavor. Once it settles in, the flavor gets a little bit better. It's actually quite good. I don't even know what flavor it is. I don't think I can taste anything right now from the sour candies. Mm. You've been numbed. I feel like it tastes like... Um, it's good though. It's got a nice little spice. Mm. I feel like it tastes like a... I'm sure someone ball. will tell me. They can. I'm sure they know how to read this uh, this language. I believe it's Japanese, but... Uh, forgive me, I'm not trying to be ignorant or anything, but... I don't speak it or read it. If we did, this would be a different ball game. All right. Next item, that was pretty good, but, oh god, I don't know about this, man. Sour taffy. What so I lied that? about the sour being over. Look at look at this. But it's not going to be that sour. Taffy's never that sour when they claim it to be. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> look at this. It looks like a DNA strand. It's because it's real taffy. Look at, look at, do you think we'll make this face? Ears look will like pop out in my, like that. Uh, Although I'd say you got a pretty good show with that last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I seriously was just trying to say something. Oh my god, it's all pink. It's gonna be so I'm gonna chewy. take a big ass bump. You're gonna be chewing on that for so long. Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> I mean, like. It tastes like packaging. <laughs> Yeah, it tastes like plastic. It's like a little sour. Not really. But it's not like real sour. Eh. Yeah. Eh. It tastes too it tastes too processed, like chemically for me. Yeah. Personally. And it's not very sour at all. I didn't even get a tingle. Although we've been kind of Numb. prepared for it. It's like when you eat hot and spicy food all the time. The the regular hot and spicy stuff that you thought was hot as a kid. It's like nothing. Like back in the day when I was like 12 years old, I remember having my first set of hot wings. Hmm. And they were just the hot wings that you could get from like a pub or whatever. You know, that everyone knows the flavor of those things. And I remember I could not handle them. They were so hot. And now whenever we get them now, it's just like, eh. It like, it's like a little like tickle, little tickle. And you're just like, there's nothing. Because uh, we've had murderous hot wing flavors oh, before. Like, like crazy. Uh, uh, you know, like, it's just We had brutal. to stop eating them almost. He finished them. I stopped. Well, I, was like, I didn't want I didn't want to lose money for him. I wanted to eat that. I can't do it. You know how it is, but yeah, that could have been better. Probably won't ever eat that again. Nope. But anyway, let's move on. God, there's a lot of squishy candies right now. This is called Zuzel Mus. I'm what? not kidding. What is that? Truscaca. Ooh, Truscaca. I love Truscaca. Trust your caca. That's for the men out there. It it, it knows what it wants. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's terrible. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Or where it's from. It's hard to say. But if I trust Gawk on my instincts, I'm going to say it's something from the Eastern Europe. The Eastern Europe? The Eastern Europe. Ooh. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking these are going to be packaged anyway, so I should be able to just cut this open. Individually packaged? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. So they look like hard candies. I think Let's they start are with a couple. Hard candies. So yeah, Zoozles. I'll give you a little look see at that. So yeah. These are hard. Yeah, they're just hard candies. I don't know. Watch them be sour too. There's something in the middle. When I taste this, I think, yo, I'm I'm it's the springtime and I'm strolling through the bota botanical gardens. It reminds me of a candy that I had when I was a kid. It's a nice flavor. I'm sure there's a flavor in the middle that we'll have to I get to. I think it's like a fizz. 
Do you, do you remember fizzes? With the fizzy stuff in the middle? Oh, candy? Yeah. Not like Pop Rocks, but... I can tell, yeah, it's very fizzy. Okay, yeah, that is like a fizz. Mm-hmm. It doesn't out. sizzle. That's what I was checking. It felt like it was going to, but... It didn't. It's like it's like carbonated in the middle. Yeah, exactly. So, dude, should we even bother with this? We've already had these. They're, they're good. I guess. If you guys remember, we I think I don't know if it was the last. Was it the last month pack that we had these? I don't remember. But regardless, God, they really laying the sour on. Dude. It's just a lot of candy, and I need a break from some candy right well, now. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Actually, we need some. Uh, what do you call them? Savory. Yeah, savory items. And these were really good. We've had the pretzels before, but they've always been dessert style. Mm. And there's also been a couple that have just been straight pretzel flavor. Yeah. But this one is pizza, and I remember it actually did taste like pizza. So we're just going to eat this for the sake of neutralizing all the candy that we just had. But I remember being very impressed with this. Yes. Considering it was a light snack, you know, not something that uh, you really have to worry about filling up on, and not something, like, there's only a few in here, really. I can probably count. This is probably like, what, 10? 20? Yeah. Mmm. It is good. Mmm. Mmm. I'm just gonna have these ones. It's just a nice way to, like, not have sugar in your mouth. It's remarkable how much this tastes like, a, like marinara sauce. That is really good. And then, like, because of the pretzel aspect and the pretzel um, texture, it's very much like a pizza crust, too. Mm -hmm. These are really good. I recommend you try these. We, like I said, we properly reviewed them in the previous month back. I'm actually almost, I'm kind of surprised that we haven't seen any high chews yet. In forever. Yeah. Oh, this ah! one. I was like, whoa, what's your problem? And I'm like, oh, bah. Bah. Can you imagine? Just like, what do you want? Bah. Chill. Mom, when you're at the store, can you get me a bah? You have to say it with it because there's an exclamation. Bah. 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 Okay, I don't know what this is. It's sluka. I think it's a raisin oatmeal snack. Yeah, it's probably like a granola bar of some sort. It, it looks, looks like very. It's maybe Swedish. You sure about that? Or Finnish. Finnish? I don't know. I, I don't. I like. They're unique. They're very unique languages. But yeah, it looks does look something like that. It's oh, an energy um, bar. Ooh. It's an energy bar. <laughs> <laughs> an energy bar. So it's it's like it's uh actually this might be really good. Um, it's got the chocolate layer on the bottom, and the granola on the top. So if we cut this right down the middle, just like that, it's a perfect split. Smells good. Mmm. Mmm. It's got berry flavor. Mmm. It's very soft. Very soft. Mmm. Mmm. You know what I feel like doing now? I feel like getting on my cycle and putting on some extremely tight shorts and going hard. Tour de France style. That's what they do, right? Obviously. Cyclist, we eat your granola bars and you just go to town. And they're, they're like... Energy jelly. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. That's a good bar, though. Mmm. That'd be a great thing. You're on the go. You're a working person, but you don't have time. But, you know, you're the kind of people who are in those commercials when they're fumbling for their keys, they grab something on the way out. Because, yeah, nobody stops for breakfast. Bull. I eat breakfast. You know what you do? You get up early if you, if you want to eat breakfast. You don't just take it on the go. But if those, these are for the people who don't. Like, I want all my sleep, no time for breakfast, yoink, good to go. Although that would not hold me longer than 15 minutes. I don't think I'd want to eat that for breakfast. It's Some people sweet. do. Some people do, though. They'll eat that and only that. I guess if you're like, if you've got like a bit of a, like a protein shake with that going, it might be a nice pre, maybe jog snack. You know, when you're going out for a run or something. Pre-jog, post-jog, whatever. Mm. Nothing too hard, but of course... You don't need us telling you what to eat if you already plan that kind of stuff anyway, so. Anyway, let's move on to Ola Pola. Classic. Actually, yes. <laughs> they are wafers, so we've had many wafers before, chocolate wafers. Chocolate Not wafers. in this brand, though. 
So I, ho I hope they're not. I hope they come in small pieces because I don't really want to eat this whole thing. No. And I'm. Oh my. Oh, it's huge. It's just one huge thing. Let's see if I can break this sucker. Why off. don't we just take a bite? I guess we can do that. Mmm. Um. Did you get a weird initial taste? No. That's weird. Don't dig it. It gets better, but that's a weird start. It tastes like plastic to start. Just mm. wait for the aftertaste. It's like they pow put powdered cocoa and it's just like absorbing in your mouth. You see what I mean? That's bizarre. I don't like that. I don't like that. Not the best thing in the world. It's very powdered feeling. So when you taste it, it's just like plastic. Coco, 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 coco. You know what I mean? It's weird. That's that's how it goes. You know, it's just like. <laughs> I already forgot that I mean. It's usable. It's usable. Usable. It's not usable. Usable. It's not usable. Inside joke. But not really. If you watch the other videos, you'd know. Anyway, let's move on. We have two more things left. Save those. Save those. No, but no, I think it'll be after, funnier. But after sour. Fine. All right, we'll do this first. This look, or sorry, this munch, munch pack is very... Sour based. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of that. We have ourselves some juicy sour twists. And this one's a bitter berry, so he's going to be like, oh my god, I can't take it. Juicy makes it sound like they put liquid inside of it. And that's always like crazy. That's going to be interesting if they did that. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little snip yeah. off the corner. Oh, oh snippy doo da day. Mm-hmm. All right, and these things are like Twizzler shaped. Are they big? No. Okay. Uh, I think some are. Some are bigger. They're about this size. Wow. Not sour. No, like, but it just all. like hurts my tongue where it was really, really sour. Mm. But it's made of real fruit juice. But is it from concentrate? That's what I want to know. I don't even know. It's American, so I'm sure a lot of people have already had these, but... They taste fine. They do taste like real juice. But they're not very sour. Not a lot of this kind of stuff is sour. Mm -hmm. They don't want people complaining, because then you'll get the mothers out there saying, Why didn't you tell us it was that sour? They're trying to kill our children. Suit, lawsuit, lawsuit. I tripped. I tripped on a sidewalk. I'm gonna find what the, what company poured the concrete. I'm gonna sue that company. People are ridiculous. Truth. Anyway, a lot of kind of like there's a lot of good stuff here, but there's also a lot of like kind of. Eh. <laughs> and we've had a very or a better version of that thing before. True. I don't think we've ever had that granola bar. No, I don't never think had so one either. Of those. But... Especially like a power bar or whatever it may be, you know, an energy bar. All right, we're moving on to the the final. Item here, and I love these because I love my gummies. Gummies, my mom. Not and I think we've had this brand before. Yes. Uh, Haribo Fantasia. Fantastique. Kids and grown-ups love it so. The happy world of Haribo. Okay. I totally dibs the alligator. Well, there's two, so chill. Oh, cool. Last time you got you got the only one that there was. Well, we had we've had like things like this before, and they had like. The ones with, uh, cause some of them have like the vanilla bottom. Oh. <gasps> Race car! That's cool. Dude, it's a Formula One. It's kind of like a random. Formula One car. They're very soft, which makes me think they're really fresh. <laughs> Hit the apex. Mm. Oh God, he's running out of control. Ow. Dan plays with his food. Mm. Yeah. Meerkat. I got meerkats. I have a turtle and a Coca Cola. Two meerkats. One. Bye, Poo Tumo. <clears throat> what is that? It's a Coca Cola bottle and a turtle. That's so random. You got. Mm. God, I love these. Dibs the shark. Oh my god, shark. Got him. <laughs> got him. Dum 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 la Tables have turned, son! Vicious. Honestly, I get the thing about gummies 
is I could sit there and munch on these suckers all day. Like, well, this is gonna be something we're just gonna end up finishing. What is that? Monkey! I think. Oh. Um. Rhino! Mm -hmm. Camel! The cola bottle tastes so exactly like cola. So happy right so now. So far, so you have mostly animals, but then you have a couple things like race cars and Coke bottles. It's camel. It's weird. It's sitting down. What if it actually tasted like the animals? That'd be messed up. Let's see what we got. Those two are yours. I'm going with Rhino. I'm gonna savor these bitches. Oh, I got a key. What oh, the hell? Is. What is? It? It's a key. Well, you remember sour keys? Oh yeah, yeah. It's the same shape. Oh, see, we ate the whole thing. I love gummies. They're like my favorite. So. You sure you don't want the last camel? Sure, I'll have the camel. How? Excuse us. I'll be savor. The I have flavor. I to say the key was really good. I'll bet. Mmm. Quite nice. Love those. All right. <laughs> so I'd say a very successful munch pack. Had some, had some laughs. Yeah. Had some crazy moments. For sure. Overall, as a, as a happiness meter, what would you rate it out of ten? Would you say this sucker? I feel like I'd only give this like a six. Mmm. Which is, I know I'm Which is above average. Because five would probably be about an average. It's on the lower scale, but I feel like there was too much candy. Mmm. I, um, I don't really like candy that much. Well, I like can, gummies. Yeah, yeah, I like gummies too. I, I'm with you too, though. Like, the hard candies, there's only so much you can eat. Because it's too sweet after a while. Um, they don't, like, I, I, they had a couple of savory items, like the chips and the, uh, the, the pretz. Uh, but... A lot of the stuff we've had so far, like I said, the more and more we, the more of these munch packs that we do, the more we realize how similar a lot of these products are across the world. Doesn't matter what you get. Like I, like I said, I've never had anything like this in flavor, but I've had better of the exact same thing of what it's supposed to do. So I've had a cocoa flavored, uh, what do you call these again? Wafer before, a cocoa flavored wafer, and it was done way better. I remember they had one. They were remember the small ones we had a couple of munch packs ago. They're only about that long. And they came in a big package like this, but they were like this way. And uh, they had like a thin layer of chocolate in between. Maybe. It was so good. They were just small little bite-sized things. You only have one. You don't have to sit down in one sitting. Give yourself like a toothache. Um, so yeah, like I agree. I mean, there's there's some good things. We're getting a lot, a lot of repeats now. Uh, These were good. There's always something in each one that we've had before. Uh, but overall, it's cool to see what we got. Like that was fun. I mean, I... The toxic waste was really That funny. was hilarious, because I, I was trying to say something, and then it's just like, sour bitch, you know? Yeah. So. But I feel like it's damaged my tongue for the rest of the day. A little taste. Am I? I'm fine now. I, uh, did you drink water after, though? I sure did. Oh. And my wa I think it's because I, like... Maybe really you kept it in the roof of your mouth too long. I think I kept it in the exact same sp place both times, so, like, that all my it. taste buds are, like... Yeah, they're being trolled right now, <laughs> so that makes sense. All right, so, you've heard it here first. Sam? You did your best, but it wasn't good enough. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. So that was a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you want to get yourself a munch pack for yourself, I think I said that already, but if you want to check it out and see what's best for you, there's a link right in the description. So please go ahead and click that, and you can check it out. Like I said, I've said in the past, there's various sizes you can get. So this is the normal one. So this is the, the mid-range one. There's a smaller one, uh, and there's also a family size one, which is a bit bigger. So it all depends on what you think. I honestly feel like, for, for if you're like us, and you're not, you're not the kind of people who literally sit down and just eat snacks like all damn day, but you like have you know, like you're walking by, you know, you're going to do something, you're about to leave or something like that. It's like, you know, like, you know, just a couple of those. Honestly, you'd probably be better off with the smallest one. Because for sure. this is probably better. Honestly, I would say this is great for like a family of four. If you if your kids are responsible, this is yeah. fantastic. That's all you need. You don't need any more than this. But if you're one of those families who, you know, you have a big family or you know, you, you just, you, you enjoy, you snacks. enjoy your snacks and I'd go with the family size for sure. So yeah. it's all relevant on your preference. This is always too much for us. We never are able to finish it. I usually give all like a bunch of le the leftovers to my buddies and they finish it for me. But uh, yeah, so just kind of give you an idea of if you're, if you're not sure which one to get and you'll save money based on uh, the size of it as well. So anyway, go check that out if you're interested and subscribe if you'd like.
like I said, no pressure, just if you're interested in doing something like this, it's pretty fun. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Favorite as well, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What was your favorite part? What would you? I I, I know mine. That was hilarious. Like I can only I can't wait to watch that it was, back to myself yeah, later, but it'll be great. Uh, these some of the munch packs are some like the best reactions. We have some really good ones here. We it's do, so much yeah. fun. So yeah, thank you so much again, guys. Uh, if you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on my social media. Those are down below in the description. It's a great way to get in touch with me outside of YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, behind the scenes footage, exclusive, you know, giveaways, things of that nature. I've, I'm very active on there. It's a great way to communicate with me and see advanced stuff. Like I said, you'll see like the loot crate and whatever before it goes live. You'll get like a sneak peek, that sort of thing. So I recommend you guys go ahead and do that. Also, if you're interested in getting a shirt or a hoodie, there's a link as well for my spread shirt down below. So go check that out. I'll be coming out with some new designs. I got a few ideas. A few of you guys have suggested some good ideas for t-shirts and I can't wait to make them. Like, how is that on, on there yet? I have to do it. So hopefully that'll be coming this spring and summer. So anyway. Thanks so much again, guys. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. We'll be seeing you very soon. I got plenty of gameplay lined up. But until then, let's toss things over to Knox Hill. We'll see you guys later. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute. Hold that stylist dial. Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding. Tires flat. I hear them sirens. Sea shots flying. So we driving. Fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta Players grab your respirators Night invaders get life savored Mass on for the shooters Move like trash to bed intruder Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox? Still you damn fools Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do So tune into that damn kill Yeah It was never, ever A game And then when you when it really hits you.